Yahuchanan John 6 After these things Yahusha went over the Sea of Galil, which is the Sea of Taveria, and a great multitude followed him, because they saw his miracles, which he did on them that were diseased. And Yahusha went up into a mountain, and there he sat with his Talmudim. And the Pikach, a feast of Yahweh, which the Yahudim observed, was nigh. When Yahusha then lifted up his eyes, and saw a great company come unto him, he said unto Philip, Whence shall we buy bread, that these may eat? And this he said to prove him for he himself knew what he would do. Philippe answered him, Two hundred pennyworth of bread is not sufficient for them, that every one of them may take a little. One of his Talmudim, Andrai, Shimon, Kepha's brother, said unto him, There is a lad here which has five barley loaves and two small fish, but what are they among so many? And Yahusha said, Make the men sit down. Now there was much grass in the place, so the men sat down, in number about five thousand. And Yahusha took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed to the Talmudim, and the Talmudim to them that were set down, and likewise of the fish, as much as they would. When they were filled, he said unto his Talmudim, Gather up the fragments that remain, that nothing be lost. Therefore they gathered them together and filled twelve baskets with the fragments of the five barley loaves, which remained over and above unto them that had eaten. Then those men, when they had seen the miracle that Yahusha did, said, This is of a truth, that prophet that should come into the world. When Yahusha therefore perceived that they would come and take him by force to make him a king, he departed again into a mountain himself alone. And when even was now come, his Talmudim went down unto the sea and entered into a ship and went over the sea toward Kefar Nachum. And it was now dark and Yahusha was not come to them. And the sea arose by reason of a great wind that blew. So when they had rowed about five and twenty or thirty stadion, they see Yahusha walking on the sea, and drawing nigh unto the ship, and they were afraid. But he said unto them, It is I, be not afraid. Then they willingly received him into the ship, and immediately the ship was at the land, whither they went. The day following, when the people which stood on the other side of the sea saw that there was no other boat there, save that one whereinto his Talmudim were entered, and that Yahusha went not with his Talmudim into the boat, but that his Talmudim were gone away alone. Howbeit, there came other boats from Tiberia, nigh unto the place where they did eat bread. After that, Adonai had given thanks. When the people, therefore, saw that Yahusha was not there, neither his Talmudim, they also took shipping and came to Kafar Nacham, seeking for Yahusha. And when they had found him on the other side of the sea, they said unto him, O Rabbi, when came you hither? And Yahusha answered them and said, Amen, Amen, I say unto you, Ye seek me not because ye saw the miracles, but because ye did eat of the loaves and were filled. Labor not for the meat which perishes, but for that meat which endures unto everlasting life, which the Son of Adam shall give unto you. For him has Yahweh the Father sealed. 
Then said they unto him, What shall we do, that we might work the works of Yahweh? Yahusha answered and said unto them, This is the work of Yahweh, that ye believe on him whom he has sent. They said there unto him, Rather therefore unto him, What sign show you then, that we may see and believe you? What do you work? Our fathers did eat manna in the desert. As it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Yahusha said unto them, Amen, amen, I say unto you, Moshe gave you not that bread from heaven, but my father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of Yah is he which comes down from heaven and gives life unto the world. And said they unto him, Adonai, evermore give us this bread. And Yahusha said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that comes to me shall never hunger, and he that believes on me shall never thirst. But I say unto you, that ye also have seen me, and believe not. All that the Father gives me shall come to me. And him that comes to me I will in no wise cast out. For I came down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will which has sent me, that of all which he has given me I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that every one which sees the Son and believes on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. The Yahudim then murmured at him because he said, I am the bread which came down from heaven. And they said, Is not this Yahusha, the son of Yosef, whose father and mother we know? How is it then that he says, I came down from heaven? Yahusha therefore answered and said unto them, Murmur not among yourselves. No man can come to me, except the Father which has sent me draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. It is written in the prophets, and They shall be all taught of Yahweh. Every man therefore that has heard and has learned of the Father comes unto me. Not that any man has seen the Father, save he which is of Yahweh. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say unto you, he that believes on me has everlasting life. I am that bread of life. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which comes down from heaven, that a man may eat thereof and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. The Yahudim therefore strove among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Then Yahusha said unto them, Amen, amen, I say unto you, except ye eat the flesh of the son of Adam, and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Whoso eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eats my flesh and drinks my blood dwells in me, and I in them, rather in him. As the living Father has sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eats me, even he shall live by me. This is the bread, rather that bread which came down from heaven. Not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead, he that eats of this bread shall live forever. These things said he in the synagogue, as he taught in Kephar and Chum. Many therefore of his Talmudim, when they had heard this, said, this is a hard saying. Who can hear it? Then Yahusha knew in himself that his Talmudim murmured at it. Rather, when Yahusha 
knew him in himself that his Talmudim murmured at it, he said unto them, Does this offend you? What, and if ye shall see the son of Adam ascend up where he was before? It is the Ruach that quickens. The flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are Ruach, and they are life. But there are some of you that believe not. For Yahusha knew from the beginning who they were that believed not, and who should betray him. And he said, Therefore said I unto you that no man can come unto me, except it were given unto him of my father. From that time many of his Talmudim went back, and walked no more with him. Then said Yahusha unto the twelve, Will ye go? Rather, will ye also go away? Then Shimon Kepha answered him, Adonai, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. And we believe and are sure that you are that Mashiach, the son of the living Yah. Yahusha answered them, Have not I chosen you twelve, and one of you is a devil? He spoke of Yahuda Ishi Karot, the son of Shimon, for he it was that should betray him, being one of the twelve.